Welcome to the video for the No Beginning Chain Crazy Block Afghan. And I know that several of you have had problems getting started on this, and I want to make sure that everyone understands how to start it because it really is a very neat technique to use with um, yarns that normally are really hard to crochet, like the homespun type yarns, the boucles any of the kind of bumpy yarns where it's hard to find your chain stitches. Um, I've developed several patterns for blankets and afghans that don't have to have beginning chain, you know, a big long beginning chain where you're having to look for stitches. And they're called no beginning chain. And there, there's a link to the pattern in the description of the video. So... I'm just going to start with my yarn. I'm going to make a slip stitch and the way I usually do that is do a couple of hold the yarn together and do a couple of chains and then pull it get a slip stitch. Now I'm going to do six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I do have to find the first chain but that's usually pretty easy. It's finding chains on out when you have bumpy yarn. Of course I'm not using bumpy yarn for the demonstration because I want you to see what I'm doing. So I just form a ring. I do a slip stitch in that first chain. I'm going to chain three and that's going to act as a double crochet and then I'm going to do two more double crochets into my ring and that's my first block and what you're going to do is form as many of these blocks as you need to make as wide as you need for your afghan. So to form another block, I'm going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to join in the first chain for that chain six. Now this is kind of the trick. I chain three, and then I kind of swing this loop back. And that's probably where I think people are having trouble is that's kind of a little trick there is swinging that loop back and then I'm going to double crochet two in that loop that I just formed. All right, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then join in that beginning chain of that six. One, two, three, and then kind of swing this loop back and two double crochets in it. And then just so that I have a little bit of substantial work here, I'm going to go ahead and make one more before I turn around and do the next row. Join one, two, three, swing the loop back, do two more. Now, instead of you usually will turn your work at this point when you're working with crochet, but instead I'm going to just rotate like this. I'm going to chain three and just turn up here and make a single crochet in that loop that I just made and then chain three and now I'm going to do three double crochets in that loop and then I'm going to continue across all the these blocks that I made in the prior row I'm going to single crochet in that loop and then chain three and then do three double crochets in it and I'm going to single crochet in the next one chain three
and then I've got my very beginning that I started with. I'm going to single crochet in that. One, two, three. One, two, three. So now I'm going to actually chain and turn like you normally would do with crochet. One, two, three, and actually turn my work like normal. And then I'm going to be single crocheting into this loop. And then one, two, three, and do three double crochets. Single crochet into the next loop, chain three. Single crochet into the next loop, chain three. And then single crochet into that last loop. Two, three, three double crochets. And so that's it. You will just continue to chain three and turn and then work across the loops. And the nice thing about it is those beginning blocks form kind of a tiny ripple. It kind of makes like little points at the bottom and then the sides will also kind of have points and then of course the, you'll finish off with a row with points and so it, it's, it looks the same all over the, the whole blanket. It's already edged very nicely when you finish it. So I hope that helps you get started with it and I think once you get it started you'll just fly on it and really enjoy it. Thanks.